What was the most fricked up death in a kid's movie? The film My Girl When Thomas Dies from a Swarm of Bees. I remember nothing about this movie except the death scene. It felt incredibly realistic for some reason. No real villain. No end of the world. Just kids playing around when suddenly tragedy happens from nature. Although you don't see the deaths, the three ghost children and Coraline, it outright says that the builder made their bodies and then trapped their ghosts for a century. Almost every villain death in any Disney movie, Ursula gets stabbed in the stomach and electrocuted in the ocean, Clayton got hanged, Dr. Phallicypher literally got dragged to heck and so on. Freaking Gaston falling into an abyss, Scar getting eaten. I forgot if anyone died in Spirit of the Cimarron but all those train scenes fricked me up, like the horses had a good life then the industry turned them into slave horses. That one scene with the train rolling down the hill almost killing all the horses. Sound the bugle now that soundtrack is phenomenal. The original animated Transformers movie was pretty horrifying for any kid that grew up watching the cartoons. Just to set the picture, the original show was pretty tame. Every character seemed to have the aim of a stormtrooper and nobody really gets killed or seriously maimed. Basically, the Decepticons would hatch some nefarious plan. The Autobots would roll in and save the day, and then they would go their separate ways until the next episode. I don't ever recall anyone dying or even being seriously injured. Fast forward to the movie, it was a bloodbath. Main characters were dying left and right. The movie literally starts with most of the first generation Autobots getting slaughtered. Some highlights. Prowl, my favorite Autobots, gets shot in the chest. Smoke pours out of his mouth and his eyes glow red before he drops dead. Ironhide gets mortally wounded and tries to crawl away before Megatron murders him executioner style by standing over him and blasting him in the face. There's a huge battle and they show the aftermath with the carcasses of beloved characters lying everywhere. Optimus Prime also gets mortally wounded and gives a speech on his deathbed before ripping the owl spark out of his chest and dying. The Decepticons stage a mutiny and throw Megatron and his most loyal supporters, out into the cold vacuum of space to die, a la Guardians of the Galaxy Vol 2. Megatron comes back as Galvatron and absolutely obliterates Starscream off the face of the universe. Mother transforms into a freaking death ray and burns Starscream into a pile of ashes. Then he stomps on the heap of rubbish and drags it across the freaking floor. In one of the planets you see some no-name transformers get disintegrated in acid while they scream in agony. Or maybe they got lowered into a pool with robot piranhas that tore them into pieces. I can't remember. Crap was absolutely nuts. Kids that grew up with that show were losing their minds. It was like if there was a Pokemon movie where Team Rocket shows with AR-15s and starts gunning down Pikachus while chucking grenades all over the freaking place. The amount of death and destruction in that first animated Transformers movie honestly puts the live action stuff to shame. Like, you felt every death on a personal level. It was wild. In Beauty and the Beast, one of the villagers is eaten alive by some of the sentient furniture. They don't show him fleeing the castle later, and the villagers aren't really named so it's not clear if he's ever shown again after that. This kept me up at night as a 20 something. They dropped a wardrobe on a guy from like the third floor. The massacre of the Huns in Milan. She fired a rocket into the mountain to start an avalanche and kills 20,000 people. But we aren't shocked by it because there's a cute little dragon snowboarding on a shield. Pretty much everything in the movie 9. Most deaths consist of being sacrificed to a master computer by the minions that are built and your soul being sucked out. Afterwards their bodies were tossed aside. Pretty brutal movie since I was expecting a kid's cartoon. 9 stroke 10. Probably that train in Thomas the train that got decommissioned and hooked up to be a battery. I mean, technically still alive but frick the conductor was in butthole. I'd go with the scene with Frollo killing Quasimodo's mom in Hunchback though. My husband once told me that a train stalled in a tunnel and instead of towing him out they just sealed off the tunnel with him right there. Like, they straight up talked to him as they did it. Littlefoot's mother in the land before time. Fatally injured defending her kid. And Littlefoot doesn't even realize how badly she's been hurt and doesn't fully understand why his mother can't be with him. Scar being torn apart by the hyenas at the end of The Lion King. 
Close second is Ursula being impaled by the bow of a boat and struck by lightning in The Little Mermaid. I'm glad to see Disney animated cartoons here since I loved Disney as a kid. Lion King was a bad one as a kid. Ursula is bad as an adult. No one's mentioning Oji Boogie in Nightmare Before Christmas. Jack rips his body open, where we discover Oji is a sentient mass of insects, all of which fall into a pit of molten metal, save for one, which gets stomped on by Santa Claus. Ellie, Cole's wife from the movie Up, I bought non-stop, took off the movie, and didn't resume it until a few days later, after skipping that entire scene the second time around. Not so much a kid's movie, but the Order 66 scene of episode 3 was nuts for 6 year old me. Totally because I watched the Clone Wars and actually cared about the weird alien people on screen. Probably unlike the people who saw it before Clone Wars. It was always the Twi'lek Jedi whose name fails me who messed me up cause like the look back at her friends before they gun her down is just like. You know what's gonna happen. And you're just like our crap. And now add to that you're a child who has no sense of quality control for the prequels. Ayla Sakura, you deserve to know. In the Disney film Witches, a little girl is stalked by a witch, taken, and she ends up trapped in a painting she can never leave. You don't actually see the death, but watching Casper as an adult when he explains how he died is absolutely heartbreaking. His dad built him that sled and he stayed outside in the cold playing with it too long and got sick and died. Oh, frick. I'd never seen or heard of Casper's death story. Spongebob and Patrick getting dried out by the sun lamp in the Spongebob movie. I know they don't technically die, but it's still extremely hard to watch with a straight face. What makes it even sadder is that the Spongebob movie was supposed to be the end of the series, but they changed it at the last minute. So presumably, Spongebob and Patrick were supposed to die. I swear that movie gave me a form of PTSD. Not a movie, and was kinda for kids, but everyone dying in the season finale of Dinosaurs with everyone comforting baby Sinclair. <laughs> the live action The Jungle Book from the 90s had a guy get buried alive in a room slowly filling with sand. Another guy got sucked into quicksand. Another guy was mauled by a tiger. And another guy was strangled by a snake. Underwater. That was actually a really messed up movie to be marketed towards families. There's a scene in The Secret of NIMH where one mouse stabs another in the back with a knife. Oh. And then the mice children almost drown alive in mud. Shudder. Love that movie. Where the red fern grows. One of his dogs died saving him from a mountain lion I believe. And the other one is so heartbroken over it that they gave up on life and died as well. And also that one mean kid was chasing him with an axe and he fell on top of it and died. That was so messed up to me. My second grade teacher read us the book. We were all absolutely enthralled by it. After we finished it, we had a PJ party with popcorn and the movie. Not necessarily the most kiddie movie. It was rated PG-13. Built the death of the Joker in Batman Beyond. Return of the Joker. Both versions. That's not funny. That's not funny at all. Spoilers-ish. Avatar. The Last Airbender. Jet takes a blow to the noggin and lies to Katara that he's okay, and Toph breaks the news that he's lying. Jet dies, presumably, as his last scene was tragic. Lots of tears, and Jet never appeared on the show again. They made a parody of it during the Ember Island Players episode and all the gong looks confused by Jet's onstage death. So it could mean that they didn't realize Jet actually died from the blow he took, or it's just a plot hole. Or they were reacting to actor Jet's dramatic and badly acted death. Also Legend of Korra. The first villain, Amon, ends up getting caught up in a murder-suicide when he and his brother flee from Republic City. When I first saw it, I was in high school and my first thought was, did they just commit suicide? On a kid's show? The movie Up My Wife Died of Breast Cancer. I love the movie but cannot watch the first 15 minutes or so. It's like watching my life in cartoon. The shoe in who framed Roger Rabbit. I will never forget the muffled screams and him looking back at Doom with the why are you doing this eyes. Stoic and how to train your dragon too. Spoilers. Not only did he die, but they waited until you had formed an emotional attachment to his character. 
right after he was reunited with his wife after 20 years, and they had the freaking protagonist's dragon kill him. His own son's dragon killed him and it wasn't your typical Disney move of kill off the parents so the kid has nothing to lose, then send him on an adventure. This happened at the very end, right when things were looking up for him. The Old Testament genocide scene in Prince of Egypt. No sugar coating. God literally says, let my people go or I will sweep through the land of Egypt and smite every firstborn child. That white wisp coming down from the sky haunted my nightmares for like 10 years after. I thought God was going to seep in through my window and steal my freaking soul away. Not a movie, but a TV show. A lot of the deaths in the animals of Farthingwoods were pretty fricked up. The death I best remember was the hedgehog couple that you watch get straight up run over by a semi truck. There's another one where you see a shrike murder a bunch of mice by impaling them on thorns. Pretty brutal for a kid's show. Not a movie but a kid's show, Star Wars, The Clone Wars. Literally all the deaths of any major clone character was sad and heroic and to me it gave a very jarring image of military life, although fictional. Especially that episode in which a rogue for lightsaber wilding Jedi makes one squad of clones kill the other by deceiving them and their reaction to it was absolutely horrifying. I remember watching Studio Ghibli's Princess Mononoke at like 6 years old. The scale of death and destruction in that movie slightly traumatized me. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.